magnets and biomagnetism. Types of magnets. The magnets that we use in biomagnetism. The system developed by Dr. Isaac Goas Duran are permanent magnets. The recommended intensity is 1500 to 5000 Gauss. Below 1500 Gauss, it can be an insufficient range when impacting very deep organs such as the liver, pancreas, bladder, for example. Not depolarize and balance the energy of those organs. And more than 5,000 Gauss is an excessively unnecessary power that, on the other hand, can be dangerous. Due to the same manipulation of the magnets that can bruise parts of the body. Or to possible harmful effects on the body. The range of 1,500 and 5,000 Gauss is the most recommended and during more than 30 years of practice, no adverse effects have been reported. Material. There are different types of magnetic materials. The most used are ferrite and neodymium. Ferrite has less power than neodymium, but in practice there is no difference between using one and the other. Since both work as long as their power is greater than 1500 Gauss. Neodymium magnets are smaller, which can be an advantage if you want to carry them in a suitcase. But there is always the risk that they will inadvertently affect electronic devices or magnetic cards. Ferrite magnets, because they have less power, tend to be larger and can break more easily. So it is customary to cover them with some material such as leather or synthetic vinyl. The liner is usually chosen in two colors, black and red, to be able to identify the polarity of the magnet. Magnets with or without inductor. When Dr. Goas began to develop his technique, more than 30 years ago, it was difficult to find magnets. So those in electronic devices such as televisions or radios were frequently used. These types of magnets have a ferrite ring and a central component of another metal alloy, the inductor. Many think that it is better to use this type of magnets because they are more powerful or simply because they are the ones that Dr. Goas used. We cannot give a yes or no to this question without first looking at how an inductor magnet works. The inductor concentrates the energy from one face of the magnet and brings it to the center of the opposite face, as shown in the figure. Changing the side of the metal ring changes the polarity of the magnet. In fact, the polarity is given by the metal ring, not the inductor, so a single magnet can turn positive or negative. The problem with inductor magnets is that they actually have two polarities on one face. The ring has one pole and the inductor the opposite pole, but with the energy concentrated like a laser beam. That's why they seem to be more powerful, since the energy is concentrated on one face. What you need to keep in mind is that by placing a single magnet on one part of the body, you are actually placing both polarities. This can be helpful in treating many disorders, especially organ dysfunctions, and in other cases it may not be recommended. For example, when only the sedative effect of the negative pole is required, or the energizing effect of the positive pole. This already depends on the criteria and knowledge of the therapist. So it is necessary to know the principles of the technique, as well as have some experience. Performing the scan with this type of magnets can be a bit misleading, since having two polarities on the same face. The point to be treated has to be located with great precision, since just by moving the magnet a couple of centimeters it has changed the negative pole to positive, or vice versa. On the other hand, we have pill-type magnets that have the poles at the ends of the magnets. These are the least recommended for the practice of medical biomagnetism. Since what we need is that each face has a different polarity. Currently, the most used magnets are of the round or rectangular tablet type that have a different polarity on each side of the magnet. So let's say that the positive can be at the top and the negative at the bottom. 
As we already mentioned, once we have our magnets of the correct shape and power, it is important to identify their polarity and align them. In this way we will protect them, they will be safer and more comfortable to use, and above all we will have the posts identified by colors. How to determine the polarity of the magnet? There are several ways to identify the polarity of a magnet. The first and easiest is if you already have another identified magnet. The negative side of one will be attracted to the positive side of the other. While if you try to put positive with positive or negative with negative, they will repel each other. But in many cases, you won't have an already identified magnet to perform this test. So let's move on to the second procedure. Another way to identify polarity is to hold your magnet with a thin thread and observe which direction it lines up with Earth's magnetic field for which you will also need to know where geographic north is at your location. The north of the magnet will align with the south pole of the Earth and the south pole of the magnet with the north pole of the Earth. Once identified, mark the south pole with red paint or proceed to delineate it. Using a smartphone, this is one of the easiest ways to identify the poles of a magnet. Almost all smartphones can detect magnetic fields. This is used in applications like Waze or Google Maps. You need to download some digital compass app first. Once installed, enter the application and place the magnet near the smartphone. You will immediately see how the arrow moves on the screen. If the north of the compass points towards the magnet that indicates that this is the south pole of the magnet, in red. If you rotate the magnet 180 degrees, you will see that the arrow on the screen also rotates to the other side. And there is still another way, and it is through the use of kinesiology, or rather the intelligent muscular response. For this you will need the help of another person. First ask him to extend his right arm laterally and to resist while you try to lower his arm by pressing with two fingers near his wrist. Feel the force of his arm opposing yours. Then, place the magnet on his shoulder and feel its force again. If it has decreased noticeably, you have found the negative pole of the magnet. If not, rotate the magnet and try again. If you don't notice any difference in arm strength it is because, for some reason, the intelligent response of the muscle is not working. But in this video we are not going to go into detail so as not to make it much more extensive. Magnet Kit In some places you can get magnet kits for biomagnetism, which will save you all the techniques that we explain in this video. But you will always have the option of getting your own magnets and creating your own kit. For which we recommend starting with at least 6 pairs of medium size. Of pills type magnets of about 1500 to 2000 gauss and another two small pairs, preferably round and about 1200 gauss to use on the face, eyes or other delicate areas of the body. As we already mentioned, the material can be either ferrite or neodymium. To line them, first clean them with water, detergent or some solvent. You can use leather or synthetic vinyl and we always recommend using the conventional colors. Black for negative, north polarity, and red for positive or south polarity. Some therapists even use some other colors for chakra balancing therapy or Reiki. But these are different techniques besides medical biomagnetism. Cut the pieces of the material at least an inch of margin around the magnet and glue them with yellow glue. You can also sew them. So with little investment you can have your complete set of magnets. That's all for this video. Visit our website biomagneticguide.com presenting the most complete guide on biomagnetism on the internet. If you liked this video. Give it a like and subscribe to keep up with new publications.
Thank you for your kind comments that help us to improve and get to know your topics of interest.